How's it going gamers? This is Rebelex here in the War Room and today we're taking a look at Dragon Age Inquisition. How to take down the Ferelden Frostback Dragon. Now this dragon is a, a pretty tough customer if you're not careful and you're not well equipped for this dragon. So let's get into this fight right here, right now. Alright gamers, so as the name states, you will find this dragon in Ferelden in Hinterlands right around this area here. Now this dragon, it's a little bit of a tough customer dragon. I recommend if you are a level 13 or higher, take this dragon on. If you are not, wait till you get to level 13 or a little bit higher to face this dragon. Now this dragon, it doesn't have any special magical attacks aside from breathing fire like its cousins do. However, this dragon does have two special abilities. When you're taking on this dragon, first and foremost, I recommend you bring in two warriors, two mages. The mages should be firing ice spells and electric spells, no fire spells. Next thing too is when you are fighting this dragon, one of its special abilities, once you weaken this dragon, taking away a quarter of the dragon's health each and every time, the dragon will take to the air. The dragon will shoot fireballs at you and then scorch the land with a fire trail. Have you and your party stay away from these fire trails. They will immediately ignite and catch on fire each and every time. Now when you first start to fight this dragon, aim for the head. You know how I always say attack the legs? Well guess what? Aim for the head against this dragon. Why? When the dragon parks itself on top of these perches each and every time it takes flight, if the head is already damaged, guess what? You and your team can bring the dragon back to the ground a lot faster. It will not leave these porches unless it takes enough damage to leave. Once the dragon hits the ground again, you and your teammates will be able to do a lot more significant damage to it. Next thing up too, if you are playing as a rogue character, that's fine. Have a warrior class and then two mages back you up. If you, a warrior and a rogue class should be setting up traps and using their special abilities against this dragon's uh, legs, the mages should be attacking this dragon's head. Now, when the dragon is down to over half its health, the dragon will let out a large roar that will stun you and your party members. What does this ability mean? Well, guess what? The dragon will be summoning its young. That's right. Little baby dragons? Well, guess what? Those little baby dragons will show up into the fight and try to take you and the rest of your teammates on. As you see right there, the dragon just let out a roar to stun me and my teammates. These little baby dragons will come in and release the groups of four to six. What I recommend here is that have your two warrior classes or rogue class characters attack the dragon while you and your mages attack the baby dragons. These dragons can be dispatched very quickly with ice spells and electric spells. Have your warriors keep the big dragon busy while your mages take on the little ones. These little guys are a pain in the butt, do not ignore these guys. These are actually the kind of dragons that can come back and defeat you and your team if you spend too much time focusing on the big dragon and not on its young. Now, once the major dragon has taken enough damage, the dragon will immediately take flight and go back to its nest. You and your team run up the mountain, hit the dragon with everything you've got, it will make one last summon for its young to come help it, but if you guys are quick enough, you will kill this dragon before its young can come and back it up. And there you have it, the Ferelden Frostback Dragon will fall to the ground and die. Dun -dun -dun -dun! And you and your team have taken down your first dragon, supposedly your very first dragon in Ferelden and in the game of Dragon Age Inquisition. Now this dragon actually has some pretty cool gear, some power rings and some uh, pretty powerful staff for beginning gamers in Dragon Age. But the best thing too about this fight is it's not just the fact that you get cool gear for defeating this dragon, but you get special crafting items from its young. So remember all those little baby dragons you took out? Run back down to the hill where you fought them and harvest their bodies. You will get dragon scale, dragon blood, dragon claws. You can use this to craft better armor and better weapons. Upgrade your armor, make your character much more powerful, make your characters juggernauts. Dragon armor and material is some of the rarest in the game and some of the most powerful and you will have a good steady supply of it once you beat this dragon. Alright gamers, that's all the time we have for today for a quick look in how to take down the Fred and Frostbite dragon. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the War Room. We're going to be coming a lot more dragons, how to take them down here in the War Room, along with more videos on Dragon Age Inquisition, and also much more games going into the end of this year and on to the next. So keep it here in the War Room, and we'll see you guys next time.